Right, this is then the last video for this application. Just something quick in your activity maps XML. I forgot to add this these uh, map properties there to add the user interface compass, the rotate gestures, the, the scroll gestures, the tilt gestures, the zoom controls and the zoom gestures. And that I've done in a previous video when we did the simple map. So just go and have a look at that one again on what this does, but it actually adds all of these gestures. So just remember to add that also. So uh, this is the application then. So uh, obviously if I go to show family location now, it won't show me anything. So I'm going to go to login Peter. For the virtual device to work, we need to go and add a location for that specific user. So I'm going to say, let's just take that location and send there. And you can see then it's got that location on on the map. So it's it's now basically the phone picking up where you are at this stage. So on the real phone, this works a lot better. So on the virtual device, you need to go to the three dots there and set the location. So you can see I'm somewhere in the sea now. But you can see my, my little uh, person there, the picture that I've added. And that's that's where this specific person then is now. Okay, so we can then use this button to send the data to uh, to back endless. So let's just look at, at back endless quickly. Uh, if you look at your categories, you won't see anything. So I'm going to go to messaging quickly and come back to geolocation just to refresh it. Click on geolocation again, and there you can see there's the family category. So if I click on the family category there, you can see there's the latitude and the longitude that we took there from um, from that specific uh, virtual device. There's the metadata. It's Peter that's that was saved and it was updated. And then you can see Peter there on the map. I can click on it. It can say, well, this is the latitude, that's the longitude, the name is Peter, and this is when it was last updated. So you can actually see it on the map on back endless. So if we go back, you can see on the map also it's it's basically at the same space. So if I go back now, and let's do the same for Tabu maybe. Uh, for Tabu, let's just try and add something else there. Let's make this one 33. And say send see if we can get a different location there uh, it's also somewhere in the sea just see where this one is maybe just a bit higher up in the sea or near to that guy in any case so let's save that location as well and then on back endless if i click on another category and i come back to this one you should see two markers now one for tabu one for peter so they're just uh, they're close to each other there so let's go back to the application then. And if I go back and I can go and say show the family's location, it should now go and retrieve those points for me from back endless. Sorry, let's just go back again. I want to zoom out a bit. And there you can see the two markers on the map. So I can then on my map, I can click on it. And there's the snippet. That's the, the bottom one. And there's Tabu and that's when it was last updated. And that one is Peter, and this is when he last updated. And then if you've got a marker, obviously that's not in the C, and you can actually get to it, you can use this directions there, and, and uh, it takes you directly to that specific person. Uh, also, you can open up Google Maps, and then also a nice feature, if you go to, let's say, Peter again, and let's give, them, give him a specific uh, location there, uh, and he moves away from his from his location you can click that button which will move him back to his location so that's basically the application you can see online that the categories was created there with the metadata everything is fine so you can see them on this map or on your map on the application